How's it going everyone? David Hedge here, House Hedge Gaming, and today I am busting open a box of Nostalgics, an interdimensional custom card game, Day Zero. Now, this uh, was given to me by the creators of the game. Thank you so much for this. So I can open it up and show you all what I get inside. So let's go ahead and open it up. I did start a little bit because right now my record with boxes is about 0 and 16 when it comes to wrapping around them. So let's go ahead and do that. Open this up. And boy, this is like a, a contrast. You got this mean metal looking guy right here. And then you have this cute, adorable little toady uh, right here. And I'll be able to see what these are while we're opening them up. And I'm gonna keep this box because they gave me this little case here that the box came in. So I can just easily slip that in and have as a nice little keepsake, uh, which again, thank you so much for this. Let's get into it. Let's go and open the first pack and see what we get. Now there's 36 packs in the box and there is a chance to get signed cards in here from the artist, which who knows, maybe I'm not able to get one. All right, so we have Berserker Rage. We have a springboard. <laughs> we have a springboard. Yep, that's a springboard. Uh, we have Excalibur. Uh, we have Gundra. I like. I really like the. It's like a Power Rangers feel to that. That's pretty cool. Uh, we have a laser pointer. Uh, we have a yellow card. We have Peregni. We have a jumbo card dragon. Uh, which actually evolves into, if I'm correct, this one right here. This was given me that at the demo booth at Gen Con, which was really cool. So I got the evolution for that. Uh, we have a stack of fox. And we have Proving Ground. All right. Let's go on ahead here. Pack number two. Uh, we have Magnet Storm. We have Witchy's Hat Drop. Uh, Abducta, we have Rodonic, uh, a Demi, a Demo, we have a Demo, I thought that was a I there for a second, my apologies. We have Regermination, a Regeneration, Regeneration, uh, I'm from the South, uh, <laughs> a lot of these weirder names, uh, we're, we still get used to a little bit. Uh, we, oh, now that's nice, we have a Divine Wrath. Void all fighters in play. Neither player takes prize to... Okay, so that's that's their version of Wrath of God for Magic. That, that has nice artwork, too. I love the foiling. That's really cool. I love that. Uh, we have Pyrox. We have Spoke Raider. And we have a Night Owl. All right. That, that's really cool. Let me, put, let me put you there. Put you there. Let's actually move this around a little bit. And let's get the next pack. Like, this definitely has that feel of old-school Pokemon, old-school Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I really do like this. All right, so we have Lava Bite. We have Metamix. We have Mirage. We have Heroic Resolve. A Wooden Boomerang. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I like that. Uh, he's like, wait a minute. Ah, oh, that's I love this artwork. All right, we have Panboo. We, oh, now that's nice. We have a Tacoon. Uh, a Panda. For each equipment attached to the spider gets plus three attack and plus three health. Oh, that is so nice. I love it. All right. I got Witchy Long Legs again. Oh, not Long Legs again. Witchy Long Legs. Yeah, it's Witchy Long Legs. Uh, we have Severe Weather. Luckily, the weather outside is nice. And we have Athena. All right. So far, I've, yeah. God, I feel like a little kid again. Like, I love this. All right, next one. Uh, we have Tunnel of Vines, Succubi, uh, Anchar, F-R-I-E-N-D. We have a Magician's Bag, uh, because what magician would not have an airplane in their bag? Saving Grace, Arajor. We have Tunnel 1P. We have Massive Effect, and we have Fish Out of Water. <laughs> uh, he, he's cool. He's really cool. All right, next one. All right, so we have Pressure Plate. We have a Liddy. 
We have Slug Slime, Cuckoo, Biceptus Blast, Squirrel of Distraction, uh, Nakira, Herald of the Kraken. Okay, this is my first hero busting it open. Uh, once per turn, you may pay one mana to summon a marine token with taunt. So anything with taunt, you have to attack it before you can attack other characters, uh, other fighters. Uh, so I love the artwork on that too. That is so cool. All right, you're going to go there. Uh, we have a soul jar. We have Revengerator. And we have another jumbo card dragon. All right, next pack. All right. We got a roll it. We got a game show. Agisect. We got payoff. <laughs> Cute little bugger. Uh, nope. Which you gotta love surprise counter spells. Uh, rewind time. We have Grot Bloom. That is a big sucker. Good gracious. A plant with taunt. Aiken, Earth Shatter, and Nurturing Father. Deal five damage to each fighter. Heal four from each of your other fight. So he deals five to himself, but then he heals everybody four. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, we have another stack of Fox. We have Proving Grounds, and we have Pyrox. All right. And I'm going to do my best to go through these a little bit quicker. Uh, but yeah, this is just, this does bring a lot of nostalgia feels to me. So, all right. So we have Scrap Metal. We have Spookula. We have the Baby Card Dragon. We have Malfunctioning Drone. Shell Storm. Save the Day. We have Vix of the Six. Uh, once per turn, you may pay one mana to deal one damage to any fighter or hero. Uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, we have a Lucky Frog. Ah, that's the... Ah, that's the bugger. All right, so we got a Lucky Frog. We have a Team Uniform. And we have Regenerate. All right, I got that name right this time. I'm going to learn it. Like, some of these card games, they come up with some creative suckers in naming, and I it takes a minute for me to get them. Uh, we have alternate timeline. We got, all right, we got something cool back here. Looks cool. All right, we have a Kai. We got a Phil Fish. We got a Voodoo. We have a lunch break, which that reminds me, I need to think about lunch. Uh, we have a complete yeet. <laughs> I love the name. We have, oh, now that is, that's pretty cool. Like, that is awesome. A Xenobot. It's a mech for every mech you control. It gets plus two. This gets plus two health, plus two attack. Eight to, uh, for magnetic mash. And they do decimate, roll a d12, and deal the result of damage. Repeat this effect for every other Play a uh, phage bot or xenobot you have in play. Uh, yeah, I need to build a deck around that. Like, that would be really cool. And that love the extended art, that's really nice. We have a spook raider, we have a night owl, and we have another tune one up or one P. All right, so let's go. All right, we have pins and needles, we have a soul jar dice, we have drask. We have a tree dan. We have a shield of allure and mockery. We have a need a hand. We have chrono Krios, uh, which looks really good. We have a phage bot goes with the xenobot there. We have a reload and we have keepers of the peace. Now, one thing I really like about this game is that you have all sorts of different creatures and characters uh, from all different walks that it looks like. Uh, which I think is really cool to have in the game. All right, we have a Lucky Draw. We have a Sarah. We have One Trick Pony. We have BB. We have a Replica. We got a Berserker Rage. We have a Destructa. All right, I'll be coming back to you later. Uh, we have Mass Effect, or Massive Effect. Uh, another Fish Out of Water, and we have another Lucky Frog. All right, so let's go on ahead and see this one here. We got Springboard, Excalibur, Gundar, Laser Pointer. So it looks like we have a bit of a print run in that one there. We have a Magnus Storm. We have Evelyn. We have Team Uniforms. We have Regenerate. 
we have another phage bot. One step closer to the mech deck. All right, next up we have Witchy's Hat Drop, Abducta, Rodonic, Demel, Regeneration, Tunnel of Vines. We have a Gruff Griff. We have a Reload. We have Keepers of the Peace. And we have Vahala. Falahal? Fala? Fahala. Uh, again, uh, when I was going through school, English was not one of my stronger suits. All right, next one. We have a Succubi. We have an Anchar. We have F-R-I-N-D. Magician's Bag. Saving Grace. Scrap Metal. A Xenobot. Okay, so I guess that's the... That must be the uh, alternate version. Or this is the alternate version. All right, that's pretty cool. I like that. All right, so we got another Xenobot there. We got Robel. We have Supermassive Slingshot. And we have a Lumoth. All right, next one. We have Just Desserts, Spark Bolt, Farron, Stumpkin. You'll notice that there's a little break in this video is because, well, I just had a big coughing spell, but I'm good now. All right, Mysterious Vile, Reverse, a Booster Box Dragon. That's the second one I got. First one I've opened. Valhalla. Rebel and a super massive slingshot. All right, next one. Uh, we have level playing field. Pelaga, Biceptus, Buggy Butt, Bubble Shield, Fast Forward, Oi! Uh, Brecken the Miner. Uh, on your turn, you may temp uh, gain one temporary mana, lose three life, three health. So that's actually pretty cool. Nice little ability. We got a Lumoth. We got a Pyroic. And we have a Sinking Feeling. All right, next one. Uh, we have a Spookula. We have a Baby Car Dragon. We have a Malfunctioning Drone. We have a Shell Storm. Save the day. Pines and Needles, Dr. Corvus. Uh, that is a freaky looking dude. Once per turn, you may pay mana equal to the fighter's cost to give them a second attack this turn. Ooh, double attack, and I like that. Uh, Pyroic, Sinking Feeling, and a Plundrake. And I just spilled cards. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have Soul Jarred Ice, Drask. Treaton, Shield of Allure Mockery, Need a Hand, Just Desserts. Uh, we have the Nessa, Nessia. We have Gorgodot, Mob Arena, and Puppet Master Wrong. All right, now the rest of these, I'm gonna go straight to the rare in the back, which is a little red gem, and then the uncommons. So I can go a little bit quicker here. So let's go on ahead and do this. All right, so we have Extra Life. We have Plundrake. We have Gorgodot. And we have the Mob Arena. So it's easy to start seeing a little bit of the print runs in this, uh, but all games have that. So it's cool to actually see it in the box. All right, so we got our hero, Engineer 1P. Uh, he's been around for a while. We have a Puppet Master Wrong, Cordy Slug, and Scarepin. All right, next one. Are we, oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so we have a Game Tron. Uh, it's a mech, awesome. And it has Void Obliteration. If this attack hits a hero directly, it does one more damage for each card in both players' voids. Yikes. Uh, we have Towerfall, we have Pecti, and we have Pestilence. All right, next here, uh, we just want to do one, two, three, and four. All right, ha, I know the Pokemon trick. All right, so Towerfall, 
Scare Pin, Cordy Slug, and a Selcasta. Silcasta? Either way, that is a beautiful art. Oh, that is so cool. And it's a maid. Spells and surprises you cast deal four damage more. <laughs> Uh, and this event, is, this effect is stackable. Wow, that is, whoo, that is really cool. And I know I've said cool a lot. If you turn this in like a drinking game, make sure you use water, because uh, you're going to be in trouble. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Next one here. All right, so we have Mail Card Flick, Live Wire, Tornadex, and Lucky Frog Merchant. Uh, once per turn, you may pay one mana to draw one card. Void two cards from the top of your deck. Okay, so this is a little bit dangerous. You're able to dig a little bit for cards. But at the same time, you're going to start sending cards to the void. And that could be a dangerous situation right there. Alright, so one, two, three, four. Alright, so we have Metal Card Flick. We have Pestilence. Pecti and... Server Cat. Uh, reveal all surprises your opponents control. That's really good. Okay, so that's... Uh, I really like that. Being able to get some information from your opponent is definitely not a bad thing in any game you play. All right, one, two, three, four. Uh, we have Nullifying Void. We have a Sukor. We have a Lavamander. And we have a Morang. Uh, the big old fish himself there. All right, so next one here. Go on him keep doing the Pokemon thing. I've never been able to do that before. That's actually pretty cool. All right, uh, maximum armor. We have a Chrono Coup. We have Moriga. Oh, we have a full art hero, Vix of the Six. Oh, that is so... Yeah, I'm, I'm so playing that as my person. That's really cool. All right, next one. One, two, three, and four. We have a Vigilanda, a Scaffa, a Cadaver, and we have Belasque. Uh, so that's the one I used in the demo. So that's pretty good to have an extra little copy there. All right, next one here. I think the cool thing is, too, with this game is that you can customize your heroes in anything you want, just as long as they have the same health and the same text box, one of the 10 different ones that they have uh, for this. So definitely a really cool thing with this game is that you're able to change up your hero a little bit. All right. So let's go on ahead. Uh, Lavamander, Tornadex, Livewire, and Shimmer Seraph. Oh, that's really cool. Once per turn, you may pay one mana to restore one health to any fighter or hero. Ah, so de definitely a classic healer. A saving angel, if you will. All right. One, two, three, four. So we have a Witchy Long Legs. Calamar. That means business. We have a Rule 4. And we have a croak. Pretty cool. So it's a winged uh, death touch bird. I like it. It's good stuff. All right. Getting close to the end here. We have about seven, eight boosters. And then I have one heck of a mess to clean up after this video. All right. So we have Soul Jar. We have Athena. Have Severe Weather. And we have a Jellifant. We have an elephant of slime, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a beast. Uh, when this is played, deal three damage to all other heroes and fighters. Makes perfect sense to me. Uh, slimy Tusk Charge for 10, and it deals three damage to everything with its Berserker Rage. Uh, yeah, 9 for 13. I completely understand why it's going to deal damage to everything. That is a giant elephant. Made of ooze and all the ooey gooey stuff. Oof. All right, four. All right, we got Stack of Fox. We got a Jumbo Card Dragon. We have a Revengerator. And we have Detective Mako. 
Uh, once per turn, you may pay one mana to reveal any face down card or look at the top of your opponent's deck. Information is always a great thing in card games, and that is a really cool one. It, it's a detective. It looks like a spy almost. I, I'm in love with that. That's really good. All right. Next one. We have Spook Raider. We have a Pyrox. We have Proving Grounds. And we have Lilith. Oh, now that, I, I would love to see that in foil treatment. That looks really good. And it's a demon. Uh, your opponents discard two cards from their hand for each bound fighter they control. And when you play this, uh, bind two enemy fighters. Bound fighters can attack their opponents next turn. Oh, yeah, it's really cool. Love that. All right. We're down to the last five packs. See if we can keep uh, keep getting some good stuff. We got Moriga. We got Nullifying Void. We, we got a foil there. We got Sukor. And we have Rosarine. Uh, it's a crystal. Uh, during your turn, or the crystal's the ability, my apologies. Uh, during your turn, you may sacrifice this fighter. If you do gain mana equal to this fighter's health, until end of turn. Wow. And no prize counters can be gained from the sacrifice. Uh, give this fighter plus four health. If you do crystal crown, that can be a big swing. I have, shoot, yeah, that's actually really good. All right, next one. One, two, three, and four. Uh, we have Cadaver, Maximum Armor, Chronoco. And a pan guard. Uh, and a pan boo. Yeah, that's really it. The, the evolution's right there. Love that cuteness. All right, next up, we're down to the last three packs here. One, two, three, four. Uh, we have Scaffa. We have Rule Four. We have Vigilanda. And we have Voidcast. Uh, select any spell in your void and use it immediately at no cost. Ah, I love that. Great way to be able to use stuff that's been removed from the game. All right. One, two, three, four. Uh, we have a severe weather. We have witchy long legs, calamar, and <laughs> good God. Uh, that's a big one. King Stingar. It has, it's marine and binding. So heroes and fighters damaged by this cannot attack during their opponent's next turn. Has in prison and freehand. Unbind all fighters you control. Yeah, that's, that's a big one. That's cool. All right, last one. One, two, three, four. We have a Revenger Raider, we have a Soul Jar, we have an Athena, and we have 2NUP, uh, Tune Up, ah, got it, uh, that's a, that's a big little guy right there, I really like that, so it's a great, not a flashy way to end the box, but definitely can't complain with all the stuff that was opened up, uh, I feel like I'm back in... Uh, back when Pokemon first came out and being able to open up these boxes, this box and seeing all of these cards uh, and I can't wait to build decks around them and get beat by my wife and my friends and all with these things because this is going to be so cool to be able to play these and just the artwork on looks amazing uh, like Gametron looks great the, the booster box dragon love the artwork on that like the full arts on this thing is amazing uh, like all these just look really good and I commend the artwork department for this game. They did an amazing job. Uh, but that's what I got in the box and hopefully I'll be able to do some more unboxings for you at another time with Nostalgics. But thank you all so much for checking out this video. If you like it, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everyone stay safe and take care my friends.